Ladies and gentlemen, Rise of Kingdoms has officially revealed some new information about the Commander Swap event. So today we're going to go over everything that we know and the only information that is actually confirmed for this upcoming event. But first, what's going on, guys? Cheers. Okay, so to catch you guys up to speed as to where we are right now, a few days ago, the developers for Rise of Kingdoms did a face to face with the developers, which we covered here on the channel. And in that face to face with the developers, they revealed a new event called Commander Swap. OK, and in this event, everyone got very excited because it is a way that you can swap one legendary commander for another. OK, and this is very good for the game. I'm very excited for this and lots of players are extremely hyped. OK, this is an event that we've wanted for a very long time. I'm very excited for this and I really look forward to it coming to the game. But because because this event was announced without a full list of details, right? We don't know exactly how it's going to work. We don't know exactly what it's going to cost. I made a follow up video to that, that kind of went over my expectations for the event. And I made it abundantly clear in that video that all I was referring to were my own personal expectations. Okay. The thumbnail of the video said that it was my fear. The title of the video said it was my expectation. The pinned comment said that nothing in the video was official information. And this was just all my expectation. Okay. And despite all of that, despite me making it as clear as I possibly could, people still took that video and thought that the things that I was saying was 100% accurate or confirmed or, or official information or something. So today, what we're going to do is go over the only confirmed information for the commander swap event. Okay. So if you think that, you know, something beyond what is said here, that information is not confirmed that information is almost guaranteed to be wrong and if you reached out to vip support i need you to understand that that information is not confirmed okay what we're going to look at today listen listen clearly listen closely okay what we're looking at today is the only information that you should expect to be true nothing else from no other source there's no leak there's nothing this is the only information that we know about this event so far anyone else who says anything otherwise is literally lying or has been lied to so here is what was revealed this morning by rise of kingdoms officially about the new commander swap event okay the idea for this event is to level up new commanders instantly which is exciting this is very good for new players and it's especially good for returning players who have older commanders that are no longer meta and as we can see here we've got our good old friend Genghis Khan being swapped for Huo and I think that this is an excellent example as to what players expect this event to be because Huo is I mean if you look at their kit right Huo is kind of Genghis Khan 3.0 right I would say Zhang Yu was Genghis Khan 2.0 and Huo is effectively Genghis Khan 3.0. Okay. Um, he has a lower rage cost, similar to what was first introduced with Genghis Khan, except he hits much harder. The rest of his kit is much better. He has more stats. There's so many better things about Huo. And in my mind, Genghis Khan is honestly one of the worst commanders in the game right now in terms of legendaries, which is kind of unfortunate because historically Genghis Khan was like so significant, but, um, who knows, maybe down the line, he will get a, a Genghis Khan prime. And let me be clear. That's just just a guess that's not official information I feel like I'm walking on eggshells right now I feel like I are people just gonna think everything I say is true I don't know I don't know anyway let's reveal the entire post here and you can see that if you have a fully expertise Genghis Khan max star max level all the skills are maxed and you swap them with your level one Huo who has no skill points no experience anything like that they will literally just be one-to-one -one exchanged okay that is what is being shown here here are the rules okay you select two commanders with a few exceptions to swap their levels skill levels and star levels in this example they're selecting the two commanders are Genghis Khan and Huo okay we do not know what the exceptions are to this rule one thing that's worth noting is that both of these commanders are cavalry commanders does that mean that you will only be able to swap cavalry for cavalry and inventory for inventory and whatever no that is not what is confirmed here but that is what's shown here so that could be a restriction on this feature but we do not know for sure okay again I want to be very clear here it is showing cavalry for cavalry but we don't know absolutely 100 that that is the case okay then they go on to explain the chances it says up to two swaps at a certain cost, meaning swapping two sets of commanders, 
each commander can only be swapped once okay so for this event you will be able to perform this commander swap two times you select two commanders you can swap them and then you can do that exact same thing again for another set of commanders and they have to be completely different commanders okay here is the expected launch time january of 2025 so that is a little over a month from now possibly two months from now depending if it's going to be beginning or end of january and again this is expected so it could be a little bit later than that who knows and here's what we know a one-off event will be launched for kingdoms in season three or later okay and for new kingdoms this event will launch at the end of season two of the lost kingdom each character so that's your account okay each actual like city that you have of course you could have multiple characters on a single account right like players will have a farm account for example so your main account can do this one time your farm account could do this one time that's it okay and this is all of the information that we know so what we can learn from this new image is that it seems to be the case and this was one thing that i wasn't sure about but it does seem to be the case that the one-off event that older kingdoms will be getting is going to be the same as the a new kingdom event at the end of season two the only difference between these events is that the one for older kingdoms is a one-off one-time thing whereas the event for the season two or end of season two kingdoms will come around for every kingdom that reaches the end of season two okay the other thing that we can learn from this is that it seems to be the case that both the one-off event for older kingdoms and the event that will take place for all newer kingdoms seem to both be expected to be launched around January of 2025. So it's not like the older players are going to get this first and then the new players have to wait or vice versa. Maybe this comes to new kingdoms first and then the older players get. No, it seems to be the case that this is expected to launch at the same time for everybody in January of 2025, which is very good to know. So what are things that we don't know that are not confirmed for this event? Uh, first of all, we do not know the exceptions to this event, and we do not know the cost of this event. And this is extremely important, guys. There has been so much misinformation going around the community, and I, unfortunately, I feel like I have to take some responsibility for that here because a lot of people saw my video, and in particular, I think they, they didn't even watch the video, to be honest with you. I think what they saw was my thumbnail, and they just immediately thought that that was true. And for those of you that are a little bit older, this kind of reminds me of you know if you ever went to the grocery store with your parents as a kid right and you're you're in the checkout lane um yes you, you used to have somebody who would check you out for you right uh now we have self-checkout but back in day back in my day okay um you had little old sherry behind the counter there and she would ring you out and as a kid you might have seen little tabloids like this right next to the look at this september of 1992 that's insane bro that is actually wild okay um anyway it's it was only a dollar that's so cool but regardless um you would see these tabloids right and you would think oh my god that's weird that's crazy there's no way right i brought elvis back to life but then as you become an adult you really look at these things and you're like oh it's just the cover like it's just to get attention that sort of thing right and part of my job as a youtuber is to first of all make the best content that i can for rise of kingdoms and then to make sure that people click on the video okay and the second part is equally as important if not more important than the first part right you can make the best video in the world with the most important information and if no one clicks on that video then you might as well have not made the video okay and so that's why you see me and Shiskel and other people do like this stupid oh, oh my god like this stupid like reaction face in in the thumbnails right and it's not just it's not just the rise of kingdoms youtubers it's literally the entire platform at this point okay and the reason is because that works people click on it right it is what it is okay you can hate it if you want but like it is statistically a, an improvement if you include something like that sometimes not all the time it, it depends okay and so one of the things that i do sometimes is i make thumbnails that like look like they're in game that way people understand the topic of the video they look at it like oh that's what this video is about that looks crazy and then they click on it and then i explain further okay and this is a fine line between clickbait and just a regular thumbnail right and let's be real every youtuber implements some form of click 
clickbait okay there's simply no way around that right I mean if people are not clicking on your videos you are not getting viewers and that's like open and shut case like no matter how you feel about it right the reality is that you have to do something to get people to click the videos okay and so this wasn't the only time that I've I've made thumbnails like this but the point of the thumbnail was to have people look at the thumbnail and be like oh my god that's crazy but the text said my fear okay and my hope was that people would see that and be like oh that's crazy that's what Omniarch is afraid is going to happen okay and then once you click the video and you actually listen to it it is abundantly clear that everything in that video is merely my expectation or what could happen or setting expectations for what could happen in the game but none of it was official information okay but at the end of the day regardless um of what of how I feel and what I intended to do what actually happened is that people saw the thumbnail and they thought it was real okay again it, it to me it's like looking at the front page of a tabloid and, and thinking that it's true it's like once you're an adult you learn better but anyway apparently not okay so apparently uh apparently people thought my thumbnail was real which I will take as a compliment because that means that the thumbnail was so well done that people thought it was an ingrate in-game screenshot despite me literally saying that it wasn't regardless there is no confirmation okay and on all of this I'm going on this whole tangent to say that there is no confirmation of any cost for this event okay all that we know is that they have said that there will be a certain cost that's it we don't know if it will cost gems we don't know if it does cost gems we don't know how much it will cost and again anybody saying that they know the answer is either lying or has been told misinformation they literally were lied to okay so everything that you see on the screen right here is the only information that we know about this event that is actually true that's it okay now you could draw some conclusions here if you wanted to try to speculate like maybe it's only same troop type being swapped or these are both wheel of fortune commanders maybe you can only swap wheel of fortune commanders that's another thing that we could speculate on but that is not confirmed here okay all they're doing is showing a Genghis Khan being swapped for a Huo and trust me guys I have tried to reach out to my connections at Lilith and they don't know the cost of this this is not they have not finalized this okay so this information isn't out there because it's not known yet okay so as soon as we know more information about this event then I will make a video about it and you guys will know or if it, the information comes out while I'm away you know we've got Thanksgiving coming up for example like who knows when this information is going to come out but if I'm away I'll post it on my community page and the only way that you're going to see that is if you subscribe to the channel we're so close to 80,000 subscribers consider subscribing and you probably think you're sub but you're not because 69 percent of you guys are not actually subscribed and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on this video it really helps out the channel a ton okay now let me address where the 50,000 came from okay because I actually got a lot of criticism for this people saying that that number was way too high it was way too expensive and that it wasn't fair to free to play players and maybe that's the case but let me explain where this expectation came from and why I said that if the event did cost that much why I wouldn't have a problem with it necessarily although I obviously would rather it be free or be very cheap okay I would rather it be 500 gems a thousand gems whatever okay but let me explain where the 50,000 came from because that is a huge point of contention here and I want to explain why it's actually a good value even if that were the case and again that isn't the cost okay let me be very clear that is not the cost of this event that is not the cost of this event but let's look at the Thanksgiving event just as an example okay um, if we come in here you can see that one legendary commander sculpture will cost 20 turkey legs okay plus some raspberry pie but you can get the raspberry pie for free just by exchanging them for these forks okay and you get the forks by killing barbs and doing all this other stuff uh this is how you do it map gathering all that sort of stuff okay uh, so basically the raspberry pie is free and the turkey legs are what you have to do, spend gems on and so to get 20 turkey legs you have to spend a thousand gems and so if we look at the legendary commander sculpture this is free this is a thousand gems and so a thousand plus zero is a thousand so a legendary commander sculpture in this instance costs a thousand gems okay 
that's pretty good value if we come in here to the vip shop we can compare that to a legendary commander sculpture in the vip shop which costs 2000 gems for a universal legendary commander sculpture okay now if you consider events such as the wheel of fortune you could get really lucky with the wheel of fortune and if you combine some luck with the milestone rewards you may be able to pull down some legendary commander sculptures for I don't know like 700 to 800 gems a piece that's if you're lucky so seven to eight hundred gems a piece is the best value for legendary commander sculptures per gem um if you know you're you're doing a pure raw gem to commander sculpture value and that's why I like the wheel of fortune so much but let me be very clear the problem with the wheel of fortune is that it is literally a wheel there's only probabilities and so on average you may be able to get legendary commander sculptures from between 700 and a thousand gems it will fall somewhere in there and it's typically around the middle or higher end of that spectrum okay so I just want to be abundantly clear here these are this is napkin math it is all probability and you could get unlucky as well and end up paying more so that's the problem with the legendary commander sculptures from the wheel but let's just be extremely generous here and say that you've only ever gotten legendary commander sculptures from the wheel at the best possible value okay so let's say for argument's sake that you've at max spent 700 gems per legendary commander sculpture for a commander that you care about well we know that maxing a legendary commander is 690 legendary commander sculptures so 690 okay times 700 gems is 483,000 gems and that is only the value of the sculptures okay you have to remember that in this event we're also swapping the levels so all of the either to level up that commander you either grinded a ton of barbs and, and guardians or you used a ton of your experience tombs in the game right those are the only ways that you can level up a commander so all of this is not factored into that and also the star level of the commander is not factored in there as well right we could possibly you know use thousands of gems worth of the actual stars here to increase the star level so even if we're only looking at the um, raw gem value of the sculptures it's 483,000 gems on the low end okay also the best value for gems if you're spending money in the game is you know the writer of history bundle which is a five dollar bundle here's a chiskel gaming thumbnail from the 1800s that shows this uh this writer of history bundle but it's five dollars for 10 sculptures okay but let's go even farther okay let's be insane here for a second if we look at the daily special offer the treasures that you get here you get one for each of these okay but if you're super lucky you can spend one dollar and get 10 sculptures of this commander that you that you want okay it's a 1.2366 percent chance of occurring so it's quite low but let's say you're the luckiest person in the world and you got 10 sculptures from all three of these so you get 30 sculptures for five dollars okay that would be insane value that would be three times better value than the writer of history bundle even though the probability of that is so low that I mean if you've had that happen comment down below you should you should seriously play the lottery you're super lucky it's a joke by the way don't actually gamble but anyway let's say you're the luckiest person in the world and for five dollars you got 30 sculptures that's 17 cents per sculpture okay 16.6 .6 repeating insane value okay insane value which is why it's so rare but if we multiply that by 690 sculptures assuming that you only ever expertise a commander through getting that good luck which is impossible but it would be a hundred and fifteen dollars worth of of sculptures right it would cost you a hundred and fifteen dollars worth of sculptures and if we come into the gem store here your first time purchase gives you fifty thousand gems right twenty five thousand and twenty five thousand for one hundred dollars so it would still be even at the absolute luckiest that you could possibly be this is so lucky that no one's ever done it before nobody has ever expertise a legendary 
by only getting 30 sculptures per five dollars every single day okay it doesn't happen it's never happened it is statistically it's so rare that it is nearly impossible okay and I know that it's never happened in rise of kingdoms it's it just doesn't I don't even know how many people have ever gotten 30 sculptures from the daily special offer I don't I don't even I didn't even know it could go that high like I didn't know that was the max but apparently it is so even in the most favorable terms that is so rare that it is so unlikely it still is more expensive than 50,000 gems okay so like by every measurable metric 50,000 gems for a fully expertise commander would be an absolute steal it would be the literal cheapest way to expertise a commander ever okay now the consequence of that it, it, you know it's not it's not that simple the reason that it, it's not that simple is because you're trading something so you're giving away the sculptures the stars the experience from another commander right so it's not just as easy as obtaining a legendary commander but by getting rid of a legendary commander and that's true except for the fact that in the video where I said that that could be the cost and I'd still be happy with it is because I was operating under the expectation that we would be able to exchange gold key commanders for any sock legendary I said in the video that that was the golden scenario and that's what I was operating under with these numbers okay so if you got a Julius Caesar fully expertise for free which I guess uh, I can't show you here because that's what happened for me. But regardless, um, if you got him fully for free from gold keys, then effectively you're, you're, yes, you're losing your Julius Caesar's progress, but you're really not losing much of anything. Are you right? Like you're never going to use him in the open field and sure you might lose like a support skill here, which is unfortunate for those KVKs where that matters, but like a fundamentally you're not really losing anything of value here. Okay. So yes, it's true that it's not exactly a, you know, an obtaining a legendary for 50,000 gems. You're trading legendaries for 50,000 gems. But again, assuming you can trade anybody, I think 50,000 would still be literally by mathematically the cheapest way to expertise a legendary by far. Okay. By far. Remember the best case scenario for the wheel of fortune. Um, let's say you only ever got 700 gems per sculpture the best case scenario was 483,000, and that's assuming that you summoned them for free right you still have to you still have to summon them so it, it really we have to do it uh you know 700 times 700 that's the real cost cheapest possible right um so yeah I, I mean this is it is 10 times more expensive than what I suggested the uh value could be to to swap okay so that's where that number came from don't get mad at me those are the numbers that's the math it would still be worth it it would still be the most worth it out of any event in the entire game everyone would have to do it you would have to start saving your gems now for it but it would still be insanely good value okay so that's where that number came from don't get mad at me that is like maybe you guys didn't know how much it costed to expertise a legendary and that's why you got mad at me um but that is the real cost of an expertise legendary commander and again that's assuming that the stars were free the experience was free all right but anyway um good news the 50,000 thing is not real that was just a thing that I thought of because I thought okay even if it was that high it would still be worth it by every measurable and mathematical method so yeah that's where that came from don't get mad at me those are the numbers hopefully it doesn't cost that I don't think it will cost that okay uh that that didn't that number did not come from an official source or anything like that it was just used for the thumbnail moving on from this topic a few other things were shown this morning okay we've got the armament conversion feature which effectively is a swap for armaments as well so not only are, are we going to be able to swap our commanders we can swap our armaments and this is again expected to launch in january of 2025 and it shows basically if you have the epics of olympia and it has the hunter inscription and you swap it for the um, arch formation then you're going to get the northern parchment with the destruction uh, inscription okay these are a one to one swap and that's it there will be some sort of uh, cost here that it says required items so we don't know what these items are if it's going to be a certain currency for this event or something like that but the higher the rarity and number of inscriptions the more items you'll need for the conversion that is all that we know about this event for sure the required items can be acquired through kvk events and in-game bundles so that's that that's what we know about armament conversion also launching around the same time as the commander swap event and the final thing that we have here is actually a silhouette of the new epic ranged commander which I thought was pretty cool um it looks like it will be a woman here and 
you know who knows when this is going to come into the game um is this going to come with a new civilization i don't think so i think we've already actually seen the silhouettes for the uh new civilization and this was not something that seems like it would really fit there but nonetheless a new epic range commander is coming and hopefully she's really good hopefully players get good value out of her hopefully it encourages players to try more ranged combat but i do just want to set the expectation right that like ranged is strong right now because of commanders like cordoba and having decent equipment and so if you're going in the season of conquest i really question if the epic ranged commander is actually going to be um, useful or usable or anything like that we'll have to wait and see but it's possible that maybe you can just get you know just cordoba and then throw this with them and then boom there you go you've got a pair instead of having to like use you know uh, attila or something random like commander that you have on your account right so who knows we'll have to wait and see but um it you know it looks confirmed that this is a woman for the epic range commander which is pretty cool but also we have more ways to obtain prime ragnar lodbrock who knows what that means right i'm excited to see new ways that we can get him uh like i said in the past i expect him to possibly show up in the alliance mobilization event i think that would be really cool but there are other ways that they could you know introduce him they could put him in other new events or maybe they make him uh you know a, a reward for like champions of olympia or some some event that they just want players to play more of that's totally possible who knows again this is not confirmed information these are my speculations everything that is confirmed is being shown on the screen here anyway guys I just want to make this quick video to follow up all of the new official real information that we have for commander swaps and to dispel some confusion around the costs for this event that apparently stemmed from my YouTube thumbnail uh, I'm not going to apologize for this because I didn't do anything wrong people did not read the title they didn't read the thumbnail they didn't read the pin comment they didn't listen to what I said they just took the information out of context which there's nothing I can do about that that. but what I can do is try to do better in the future with making my thumbnails not so easily believable I guess um that's that's gonna be my strategy moving forward I suppose and uh hopefully we can avoid more you know miscommunication in the future and as always all of this information is only true when it lands in the game okay even this picture right here they reserve the right to change this information before it comes into the game it even says it right here pictures are for illustrative purposes only please refer to the in-game updates when they go live for final details okay so even this information could be changed in the future so the only thing that you should ever believe is you know if the information comes from rise of kingdoms officially it's assumed to be accurate but the most real stuff is what lands in the game that's it okay anyway guys with that being said if you made it to the end of the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video with more breaking news for new updates in the future and comment down below your thoughts on the commander swap events what do you think about this event what do you think that the you know the limits are going to be the exceptions the costs let me know what you think those are going to be in the comment section below with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace